I literally smell like barbecue. I don't know if I like it or hate it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, if you don't know, na ya na. Today I thought I would do a different kind of video and go to a Korean barbecue place here in Busan to show you what it's like to have Korean barbecue. I met up with my friend Dong Yoon, who I know through the children's home that I volunteer for. He suggested that we go to this place near PNU, which is the Busan National University here in Busan. The, um, pardon me. Pardon me. My apologies. And it's a student area, there's lots going on, lots of really cool restaurants, cafes. I couldn't get the name of the restaurant right, but um, I tried my best. Jeju Jip Jeju Jip Lai. What is it again? Jeju Jip Lai. 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 Korean barbecues are super popular and they're regularly jammed packed with people so we were lucky to get a seat. So when you sit down at a Korean barbecue restaurant, there's a few things you should know. The first thing is that the spoons and the chopsticks are at the side of the table, usually under the table, under this drawer thing that you have to pull out. And it's common courtesy to whoever is nearest to the utensils, hand one out to everybody. So there is a burner grill in front of you in the middle of the table, and that is where the meat is served. Or cooked. Yeah, it's definitely cooked. Or served. Served and cooked. And eaten. There, at that one place. So we ordered my favorite, which is Samgyeopsal, which is unmarinated pork belly, and it is so good. No matter what restaurant you go to in Korea, you're going to have side dishes, whether it's one or two side dishes or a plethora of side dishes. In Korea, they're called banchan, and it's usually bean sprouts, some spinach, radish, garlic, perilla leaves, onions. You can also order side dishes as well. So you can order rice or stew, such as jjigae, and that will come to your table and you can enjoy some more sides. You can have as many sides as you want. At this particular barbecue place, the waiter will grill the meat for you, but sometimes you can grill it yourself. Luckily for us, we didn't have to cook today, so the waiter did it for us. This barbecue place was also not unlimited. Usually barbecue places will be, because I know a place that do unlimited samgyeopsal for 10,000 won. That's my jam, that's my jam. The side dishes are there to flavor the meat a little bit, especially because the samgyeopsal is unmarinated. You can take the leaf, some of the side ingredients here, and put it all together. to eat the entire leaf in one bite. Sushi style, stick it in your mouth and start chewing because if you just take little bites, everything is gonna fall out. In the end, the price came to around 30,000 won for the both of us and we also had some makju as well, which is beer. And usually you have a beer or some soju with your dinner and that kind of just cleanses the palate. It goes well together. You can't have some gyeopsal or Korean barbecue without some alcohol. Korean barbecue prices range from 10,000 won to 50,000 won, depending what kind of meat that you want. How is dinner? It's pretty nice. And, uh, I want to drink more extra. So that is my Korean barbecue experience. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram for instant updates. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you in my next one. And you'll hear Kate say yo!